gamers! I've been working on a new game called Incoming. Incoming is a 3D VR missile defense game. Protect your cities with a wide assortment of defenses against waves of warheads, bombers, zeppelins, and epic bosses. Wishlist today on Steam. Link is in the description. Greetings, deep sea divers and sushi aficionados. Welcome to another episode of Dave the Dive. Let me just move the microphone a little closer. Sorry for any weird sounds on my phone. Alright, so it is the afternoon. We're sold out of tra uh, the uh, steel traps there. One thing I did notice here is um, if we go into this, we can actually paint our boat. I didn't know we could do this. It's kind of interesting. Okay, so we have that one. That's alright. This, I do not like the look of. This is pretty cool, though, for get a little Bancho Sushi advertisement going there. Okay. Yeah. That one's kind of cool, too. Bananas. Oh, is, Co is Cobra's shirt like that? I guess it's supposed to be. Oops. No. Um, yes. You know what? Let's do the Bancho Sushi logo. Cool. Alright, let's go. Uh, do we need anything else while we're here? Before I go in and regret it. Yeah, let's go. So we've got a couple different... What the heck is that? Greenland Shark. It takes 150 years to become an adult. Wow, that's crazy. That's a messed up... Nature's just weird. <laughs> Get this guy here. So we are interested in catching marlins if we can find them. Or sailfish or any anything that's sort of like in the marlin family. Let's grab this guy here. seem like their ranks, the ranks of the seahorses and stuff, tend to be proportional. Oh, jeez, this is one of those big sharks. Or one of the whippy tail sharks. Try and get some of those whippy t whippy tail sharks, so that we can get them into the um, into the fish farm. Well, that might be interesting. We get some weapons here. We're gonna need some weapons. So one of the things I'd like to do here. Oh, lightning. Okay. So I don't really like the lightning one, but it's better than what we've got by default. So it's fine. I do want to get into the deep uh, this episode so that we can try to catch some uh, of those spider crabs in the very deep for the, uh, the sea people. There's a quest from them. Um, and then there's also another quest for... What was it? It's to kill something else in the deep. I forget what it was, though. find the rack because there's a good chance that there will be some good there will be some uh, sailfish or swordfish or marlin in there we have the sano shark we don't care about him Is there anything else we want to pick up before we go in there? 
Let's see what's in here. Ooh, another one of those. Okay. I do like those. The scooters. We got a femur. Alright, so there's some ammo out here. That's nice. Let's go in. Hopefully we'll get some good meat for the uh, upcoming event. Our second annual, well, it's not annual. It's like, it seems to happen like every month. But second annual. Scooter, because his meat is important. Black pepper, so we have a new one. This guy here, we'll just... Oh, I forgot about him. I guess we'll just butcher this guy. We should probably deal with this puffer fish, because he's going to get in the way. trap now. There's nothing scary on this side anymore. Would like to get a little bit of oxygen while we are running low. I don't think I'm going to bother with the jumpy crabs because they will probably deal a little bit of damage to me. I don't have a really great strategy for getting rid of them yet. If we had a shovel, it would be a lot easier. That's what we need. Hopefully this punk will get me off before grabbing this. Sorry. Ooh, ooh. Go, go, go. What are you doing? So we have black pepper. We never had that before. side to see if there's more marlin that we can get. That does mean that we have to try to beat feet past this uh, this guy with the whippy tail. Well, we 
managed to get past him. What is this red one? I don't think we have one of these yet. Pacific. Okay, I guess we do. There's a condiment. We'll grab that. Maybe it's more black pepper. That'd be good. Okay. We can always use sesame seeds, though. I made some sushi today. It had sesame seeds on it. Okay, so we have a ray. I don't think we really care about that too much. Hey, what are you doing? Oh, there's, there's a marlin over here. Alright, so that's the guy we want. as long as they're not doing that dash. Where are you doing? Spiny. Okay. better at just like actually being able to get oh no right i have to remember to feed the cat it's something that i said i was gonna do and i just keep forgetting to do it hedgehog missing are like the the things I really need like like box jellyfish tentacles and stuff like that oh yeah it's these these guys down here that we have to kill um, what are you enhanced harpoon um I think I think I do prefer that. Because the lightning one just like kills everything. Which means we get like really low quality meat and stuff. Also the mini game for it is annoying. So there's that.
Alright, so we're looking for those guys that are hanging out at the bottom. Oh, hey, we have one of those too. Okay, there's a crap. Oh, we got a couple of those crabs. So this is good. So I can pick these up. We can deal with these crabs. Wait, we can't pick that rock up again? sure because I'm pretty sure that they are both pest control I tossed some of these other guys. There was a bunch. There were a bunch that we killed with the lightning thing. That are pretty much useless. These guys here. I don't think they weighed that much, though. That's not gonna help us enormously. Getting Cleon's the other thing I have to do? I think Nope. Probably just gonna have to check. Um, Alright, so we're trying to get crabs right now. <laughs> that sounds awful. Um, so we should probably just continue to go further down, I guess. Oh, what is this? 
poison triple axle. That's not gonna be better than our grenade launcher. Sure. Okay, I'll take that. Shovel, I'll definitely take that. That's much better than the pick. are most in the gas. Big mouth crab. Oops, real quick, quick. I don't think that the big mouth crab is the thing that, or the big mouth whale rather. Big mouth shark, whatever. It's the thing that they were looking for. Ow! Hey man, you gotta scoot fast than that. All right, we might not be able to complete the crab quest here because. There's usually at least one crab over to the left here, but we need three more, so we may just have to... Oh jeez, it's not even here. Unless it's up here. Okay, I think it is over here. There's a rock. Okay, so that's for that guy. That's new. Okay, so this guy did two. Even so, we need two more. I just don't see that happening. Man, we're getting a lot of good condiments here. This is great. Another curry block. This is wonderful. You must have at some point unlocked something. Wow. Sneaky, sneaky guy there. Spine seahorse. Yeah, pretty much all of them we can get. Or at least all the ones I know the locations of. Um, so we'll just have to come back another day to finish that quest. We got four. But unfortunately, it's four or five. Or rather, we have three. But I think that there's a fourth one down here. Maybe not. 
should probably not because this is a boss fighting area, right? There, maybe it, maybe there's one over. Negative on the third crab. So, I think we should probably just fill up. Get the hell out of here. Let's see if this guy is the other guy that they were looking for. Sea toad. Nope. I'm pretty sure it's something that, that else that spawns just in this area. I thought it was these guys. Alas. I'll bomb him anyway. I want to start getting some of these guys into the fish farm so that we can start breeding them. I can get lower, or I can get higher quality than just like one star, you know? Because we haven't found a way to get those guys even higher than one star. Which is kind of not great, so. Alright, calling the escape pod, we're gonna get out of here. And then we will come back at night because we want to get a box jellyfish done. So, in that case, I will grab the. The hush start. We'll go back down. That's right, we can do the grenade launcher now. That's nice. Um, all these guys are food worthy. None of them are level six. So we're gonna go ahead and keep those in the inventory. We got two sailfish, so that's great. Or rather, we got a sailfish and a marlin. Sweet. What? Oh, what, what's going on here? Okay, it's this guy. I'm gonna try to bring a boss at me. <laughs> oh, the storm's getting rowdy. About that super rare boss card. How about we try to get it again? You'll be able to meet the creature by going into the vortex that, created, uh, that was created by the storm. Sure. We'll lose the opportunity, Rinse Collector. Alright, well... We could probably do that. So, what? Uh, <laughs> so, what is the idea that you mentioned earlier? Oh, that. What if you infiltrate Sea Blue Base and retrieve the mechanical part? Me? Go to their base? Sea Blue folks were scouting the area using underwater drones at night. Follow those drones and you'll find the base. Yeah. That sounds dangerous. <laughs> Don't worry. I will prepare an infiltration suit with camouflage patterns. It will hide you from plain sight at night. It will hide you from plain sight at night. No guarantees, though. Yeah. Um, or, um. Anyways, it's not dark enough yet. So I'll see you later. When I close the bar. <laughs> okay. Alright, that's pretty good. We'll send her back out. And we are diving again. Um, so I said I was going to grab the hush darts. I think we should go after the bar. I think we could probably take it. Now even so, we should probably still try to get the box jellyfish tentacles. So we're gonna go ahead and do that first. Um, 
see what box jellyfishes we can find. Obviously, we're going to have to kill them instead of just sedating them. So our chances at getting a t tentacle, I think, are lower. But I don't know that, like, I don't know if that's actually the way that works. Grab this box jellyfish. One tentacle. Yes, we got the tentacle. That might even be enough. Should we just continue? Try to catch one more the net. So we're gonna have to do this before we go into the vortex. Okay, so this guy here, I also looked up how to get him. Apparently we don't have to be like right on top of the uh, the picture taking point. So that's my fault for thinking we had to be so close. Apparently we don't have to be quite as close as I initially thought. Jellyfish up here. Yep. You want a tentacle? Nope. That's okay. We have what we. I think we have what we need. Pressing the button. The thing is up. I do not know how to do this. How did they do this? Is there a button to take a picture? Settings. No. I do not know how to do this. Here we go. Okay, so I just wasn't close enough. So I want one target is illuminated. Please work. Manta ray, one target is illuminated. Okay, good. Good. This is fantastic. Now I must go up and talk to Udo. No! Don't do that. We're gonna go fight bosses. We got a whole bunch going on here. Alright. And hopefully my gun didn't despawn or anything like that. You know what? We really need a scooter if we're gonna go fight a boss, too. So maybe it's not quite time to go boss hunting yet. There's a weapon pod over there. 
or weapon crate. Grab this one. Scooter, come on, scooter, scooter, scooter. Baseball bat. Eel, too. I mean, we're down here at night. If we can find some eel, that would be worth it. Come on, scooter. Nope. What is this thing? Boy shrimp. Okay, we've got those. He looked actually. He looked extra. Like. Nose feelery. I'd rather just kill him. We don't really want these guys in our inventory. But I suppose we have to do it. We can always ditch them later. Let's pop this oxygen. So we're looking for eels, box jellyfish. Oh, we got one of these guys. for him. Suppose we could replenish our ammo here. Don't really want to mess with the barracudas. Give them a wide berth. guy either we just want to get our we just want to get ourselves a scooter you know oh boy that's not so good oh he he left us alone that's interesting what are you enhanced Harpoon tip. I think we want to keep the poison damage if we're going to be fighting bosses. These guys are annoying. Wow, there's a lot of skeletons down here at night. Come on, grab it. Uh-oh. Oh, this is bad. Oh, he was a net. Can't fight this guy. Get out of here. <laughs> Still take the time to pick up the uh, the pink seashell. Wait, this one's electric. Is it electric? Why does it have electric stuff coming off of it if it's not electric? Electric is preferable because electric can stun. Oh, there's another one of these guys. Let's fight him. Hopefully this barracuda will be able to get in the butt. Oh, he will be. Get out of there. What the? I didn't know I could do that. Okay, we have to grab 
grab this guy. down. Still no scooter. Lightning harbor. No, we don't like that. No sharks. No... We haven't seen any sharks and we haven't seen any eels. Finally. Took forever. Alright, now if our gun didn't despawn, we have everything that we need to fight a boss. This is a red scooter. Nope. A uh, yellow scooter's not gonna last very long. So there's that. Where are you? Level one. It's exactly the same. Oh, we have another one of those sharks. So this is probably going to be the location of that uh, pirate gang that we're trying to fight. Come on, Red Scooter. Nope. Nice. We have Neil. And this might be a really bad idea because we finally have the box jellyfish tentacle that we need. Mm. Hmm? I went to the vortex and ended up here. Mm. Maybe these are, uh, maybe these things that that got caught. Wait, maybe these are things that got caught in the storm and disappeared. Whoa. Uh, mm. Hmm. I think that big truck just moved. It's gonna be like a hermit crab with a, a truck on top of it or something. We should have brought our grenade launcher. We can make it now. But I think our shock rifle will do okay. Nexon tire. This is a Nexon this against this game. Yep. Truck hermit crab. Oh. It's so predictable. Moving truck! Mm. It's not a truck, it's a giant hermit crab! Mm. I don't think a gun will do anything. What do I do? Oh no. But I have a gun. What do I do? Oh. Let's drop these on his head. 
stupid. I hate boss fights. I hate them so much. on him before, but I knew Oh, there we go. Seems to drop it like much more like right onto his back. Look at that. Work out too often. I hate this so much. I hate boss fights. I hate them. my just destroy my my barrel like why why is that thing I hate this <laughs> I really fucking hate this sure just grab a better gun that'll do something right Boss fights so much, I cannot even articulate how much I hate boss fights. Okay, what is the point of this? stupid I hate I hate boss fights so much it's unreal all right so does this if we can hit him in the eyes wait what the canisters went away I need those canisters you stupid game what are you doing to me this doesn't make any sense at all. See, because he can do that. Okay, so do I grab it and then I just hold it away from him while he does the uppercut? But then he, he just hits me with stuff. Oh my god, I hate this. I hate it. Oh no. See? Oh, there's no way to avoid that. It is unavoidable.
damage him one time. Don't hit me. Hey, how many times do I have to hit this guy? Please just spawn the fucking things. So last time I really lucked out. Please only be a three hit. So you really have to grab them like right away because otherwise you're too far away from me. Jesus. Right next to me. thing was really nothing without its shell. I hope the boss card Sato is talking about has been activated. Oh my god, that was so annoying. A piece of the hermit crab pincer fell off. Should I pick up a piece? Yes. Let's quickly just take this oxygen. So what, what is even the point of shooting it in the eye? It doesn't seem to have any purpose. So for a while there, I was thinking that you, shoot, you like, he, he does the clawing the ground thing, which spawns the canisters. Then you shoot him in the eye. Then you grab a canister while he's cowering. Like, that would be a much... That would be a pretty straightforward boss system, you know. But man, I hate boss fights. I hate them so much. <laughs> Alright. Let's get out of here. The vortex came back after defeating the hermit crab. Let's go back to the boat using that. Alright, back to the boat it is. completely full gear either. Do we want to risk it? Probably not. We'll just quickly check to see if we can get an eel. It's usually an eel like around here somewhere. Oh, we got trigger fish. There's an eel. escape pod, but maybe we should just go to the surface. We'll grab a 
grab the trigger fish too. It's not like we're gonna run out of inventory space. We're traveling light this time. Get greedy, let's get out of here. What? what? You found the super rare boss card? Mm. Astounding! You must be a natural born Marinsa collector. Mm. The sea was unrelenting with those terrifying sea creatures. That was serious stuff. <laughs> Meh. That's no big deal compared to the awesome, super rare boss card. But it went through all that. Hmm. Now, tap share card with friends like this. All right. There we go. Keep up the good work. Ho-ho. All right, cool. Here, take a look at this picture. What do you think? Oh, this is a manta ray. <laughs> Look how majestic it is. My eyes are teary, you see? I'm just kidding. Our editors will love this picture for sure. You are my hero. I will see you again. All right, well, that's some serious gold. From now on, photo spots will appear at night as well. Take nice evening pictures. Okay. Cool. All kinds of stuff. Got all these humbled squids. This is good. <laughs> New content. Weak fishing? Strange creatures will sometimes appear in the giant blue hole. They're called Fishmon. What the heck? <laughs> and are anything but easy to catch. Get information from journalist Udo, who comes on Saturdays. Okay. So he comes on Saturdays. From now on, you can use Fish Tracker underwater with Tilda. Okay. It's probably useful. Use this device to count the number of ingredients from the fish farm and sushi restaurant. Check the grade of the fish you catch while you're still underwater. Nice. That'll be convenient. All right. Um, so, I think we have to do our due diligence. We have to go to the farm. We have to go to the, uh, the fish farm and the regular farm. Let's see what's up. What's going on here? Nutrient needs to be over 70 to restart farming. How do I do that? Shouldn't I have a second chicken? What happened to the second chicken? Oh, there he is. <laughs> what? Okay, rename. Okay. Huh. Talk. Dad is never scolded yeah. me. He told me to do whatever I want. The only problem is that he goes on and on. Alright, how do I get the eggs? haven't showed up yet? I guess they just haven't showed up yet. Is that this morning that I bought these? I don't even remember. So much happens now. Right, these guys have a long way to go. Um, and, and we're currently constructing this one. So I don't think there's anything we can do here. It's raining. So we're not going to have to water anything. So let's go to the fish farm. All right. New fishes everywhere. 
Let's see, it's 82. Sounds good. <coughs> all right, we'll send all of these. Except for the kitchen. I took too much yellow back fossilier. Oh well. I don't think that that is that important anyway. Alright, I think we're good here. I'd like to get some better sharks in there, but uh, we have what we have. God, look at this. I didn't actually check out. Okay, density's 87, so that's pretty good. Harlequins we can send. That's very annoying. So you can separate those. Yeah. See, that just reordered. Now it's like. Shark, Atlantic Angler, there's a lot of stuff. Deep Depths. Nice. Um, It's not valuable. I'm not. A, I'm not really sure how it gets ordered. Oh, we have a new one here. That's right. Cool. Some one of those. Some one of these. Not three. One. Time. Nice. Right, we want to send two of these. Hopefully, we'll get tentacles out of them. But I guess not. More eels, copper shark, we will send one. I 
guess we're good for the rest. Cool. Let's get to the sushi restaurant and actually serve some food. Provide that there's not some other like story or a part going on here. Oh, there's a story part going on. Let's see. VIP. Uh, uh, Wang Pang, the master. Oh. What? Hello, everyone. This is Yui from NDC Station. Oh. Today, I present a new program called Challenge the Chef, featuring Vincent Yak Yamaoka. Hello. It's been a long time, everyone. I'm Vincent Yamaoka. What? The champion of the last season of Bancho, who was praised by Vincent. Excuse me. The champion of the last season was Bancho. Okay. Who was praised by Vincent. You'll be defending his championship today. <laughs> D defending champion. And this season's first challenger is Wang Pang. Oh. It is my honor to be here. I am Wang Pang from Hong Kong. Mm. Nice to meet you, Wang Pang. Oh. All right. We've met the contestants. Now let us begin the show. <laughs> you two will compete with dishes on the same day at the, uh, at, at, on the same day at the same place on, on a given theme. Vincent Yamaoka will judge your <laughs> dishes. Today's theme for the contest is <laughs> Chinese cuisine. <laughs> oh, well, this isn't good. <laughs> As you know, Chinese cuisine uh, developed many different cooking styles in its long history. When we talk about Chinese cuisine, many will think of stir-fried meat and vegetables, but that's not all. There is more than that. Mm. This time, you two will compete for the dish using fish. Give me a Chinese-style fish dish. May the best chef win. I heard of you and your reputation, Macho, but I will beat you with a fabulous recipe from Hong Kong. Oh, Wang Pang just issued an official challenge. This should be interesting. <laughs> you know the rules, folks. We will come back in two days to broadcast the intense competition between these two contestants in real time. <laughs> Stay tuned and see what transpires today in Challenge the Chef. I like how they just sort of volunteer Bancho. <laughs> <laughs> Are you okay? You're not familiar with Chinese cuisine, are you? I don't need to be to be Chinese to compete with him. I will use a Chinese culinary style. But with a type of fish they've never tasted before. Let's not go over bear, overboard, Bancho. I can't teach him a lesson with an ordinary dish. If you say so. Bring me the ingredients I want in two days. <laughs> Chinese cuisine is no problem. I need stargazers, wheat, olive oil, and eggs. Okay, we have all those but the eggs. So that's not too bad. All right. Oh, we don't have wheat. I think we planted wheat, though. So we should have it. Oh, are we going to have it in two days? risky. Um, can we send somebody to the store to get that? You know, we can check our farm thing, I think, right? Farm now. We do not have any wheat go. Wait, we did. Growing. Did it was it destroyed? Was that the one that was destroyed? Oh no. Oh, this could be bad. We're not going to be able to get wheat otherwise. I wonder what happens if we fail. <laughs> we have a call. Duff? Vincent. Hmm, I'll pick up 
picking up. Hmm. All right, well, I suppose we shouldn't worry about it right now. So let us, um, let's take a look at the research. So here's the stir-fried hermit crab and seaweed. This is our boss, our boss meal. Yep, these are all boss meals. So I'm gonna keep them for now. Um, and... Interior ingredients. Yeah, I guess we'll just work on our menu. So we don't want to use anything that's in that upcoming quest. No wheat, no olive oil, no eggs, no stargazers. Um, okay. So this needs olive oil, so we're not going to do that. Okay, we can, oh, we can enhance this. This is our most profitable dish, too. This is a very long video, so... Okay, so it's a half a service tonight. Why is the serve? Six. Oh, that's pretty good. So we shouldn't use anything that needs garlic or miso either. Uh, so this is going to feed seven. So that's 14. This guy, he's that's not gonna risk anything. We can enhance him a couple times here. So that'll give us almost 20. If we add that to the menu. We do want to sell out of these things. I'm I'm tired of throwing them away. So if we don't put more stuff on the menu. these on the menu. Do we want to do that? So that's going to make 21 meals. We're probably going to get between 20 and 25 folks. So let's go ahead and open. some lighter stuff. Comer. <laughs> now, we should upgrade stuff at the top first, anyway. Um, we've got 
Got some frilled shark here. We can add three frilled shark on there, right? Okay, so we're still losing three of these. So that was a bad move. Oh, we, we never even sold any frilled shark. <laughs> Oh well. Probably made him a lot of money though, yeah. But we did end up throwing away three dishes of our of our best food. Phew! This should be enough. Dave, you're here. It's so dark. Are you sure there's something there? <laughs> Just put on this infiltration gear. It'll help you stay unnoticed. Oh, uh, well, this might have to be in the next episode. <laughs> All he did was have, like, a thing that goes across his nose. Oh, I feel like I'm being a secret agent. Oh. Dress for success. You look ready to enter the dark Moses Island in that. Enter dark Moses Island. Oh. Well into the water now. You will see roaming drones underwater. Follow them unnoticed. I bet they will lead you to Sea Blue's base. Oh, right. Leave your weapons here. What? You want me to infiltrate their base unarmed? Sea Blue runs a tight security system with sentry drones and sensors. If one of the drones detects a weapon, it will alert the base immediately. This is a covert o operation anyway. Going in secretly and coming back with a mechanical part. Simple, right? What am I... What am I doing skipping sleep? Yeah, you're a bit of a sucker. Like, you never want to do any of this stuff here, Dave, but you just get talked into everything. But, uh... uh yeah, so I think that we'll probably infiltrate in the next episode. So thank you very much for joining me. I hope that you enjoyed this. And if you have, please like, maybe comment, maybe share, maybe subscribe. New episodes every day at 2 p.m. Eastern Time, U.S. and Canada. I'm Cobalt Thorium, and I hope to catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.